Welcome to the 8th lesson of the Ultimate Songwriting Guide. We hope you're ready to build a bridge for your song. Step 8. Let's build a bridge. Ever felt like your song is missing something? Want to add depth and avoid repetition? Let's dive into the world of bridges. The primary purpose of a bridge is to introduce contrast and depth. It's like a breath of fresh air in the middle of your song. Many bridges incorporate surprising elements. Think of introducing guitar solos, instrumental breakouts, or even a key modulation. Want to add complexity to your song? Try borrowing notes not typically in the major scale. For instance, if you borrow a chord from C minor and use it in a C major song, it's called a borrowed chord. This creates a sense of change and grabs the listener's attention. When in doubt, remember, have fun and keep it simple. Here are some quick bridge tips to consider. 1. Borrow chords from different keys or modes. This will introduce more variety to your song. 2. Maintain chord consistency. Consider echoing the chords from the verse or chorus, but in a nuanced and varied manner. 3. Introduce a new melodic hook for a climax. This can take the song into an entirely new direction. 4. Ever thought of a key change? Give it a shot. 5. Showcase your skills with a solo section. Remember, any member of your band can take a solo here. 6. Change the rhythm for a fresh groove. Change your strumming pattern or change the drum rhythm entirely to make it feel different. And most importantly, don't be afraid to break the rules. For our example, in the dog song, we're spicing up the bridge with notes from C minor, while the rest of our song remains in C major. For those looking for a starting point, here's our example 8 bar bridge chord progression in the key of C minor. Play through it and feel the magic of a bridge. So next time you're crafting a song, remember the bridge. It might just be the missing piece that your song needs. Now go ahead and finish the chords for the bridge of your own song. Choose the chords for your 8 bar bridge and map out the chords now. Once you write in the notes for your bridge, practice playing it over and over until you've got it memorized and you are comfortable playing the chords. Congratulations on completing step 8 of 16. You're halfway there. Next, you'll be mapping out the chord progressions for your entire song, so you can start putting everything together. Let's continue on to the next lesson. Click through to video lesson, step 9 now.